welcome to the Model High Scale Modeler channel. The past few weeks there have been many kits that I have been able to purchase through eBay, Facebook groups, as well as my actual grandparents who came uh, across a stash in California that was able to mail to me. What I wanted to do is look over the kits that I got in the last couple of weeks and show you what I grabbed before they were gone. The first kit is the Revell Monogram Aerovet. I recently saw Mark Batson, Hobby Do 007 here on YouTube, start building this or continue building it. And back in August, BG over at BG's Model Workshop, a good friend, he built this kit as well. Seeing both of them build this kit and see how the kit was being built definitely made me want to grab one of these. The engine and the chassis is what makes this seem like it's going to be a great build and a fun build at that. The next kit is the Ford GT40 No. 2 Livery by Revell. I did see a kit review or a stash update I believe from BG over at BG's Model Workshop and he identified that this kit was in fact a Fujimi kit that was reboxed as Revell. This definitely heightened my sense of wanting to get one of these kits and the other liveries as there is some photo etch that comes in these kits. I grabbed this kit for 15 bucks from Scale Model Deal or No Deal Complete Kits. This is where you offer a price and the buyer can make a deal or not. Let's open the box real quick and take a look at the photo etch that comes in the kit and actually see if it truly is in Japan Fujimi kit that is made. Here is the photo etch. It actually looks really great. I'm definitely excited to see that this is in the package as a factory sealed kit inside. And also we see the Made in Japan here identifying that it was in fact a Fujimi kit initially. I have many more kits in this video to show you and also let you know where I got them from for specific Facebook groups. If you're enjoying this video, please smash that subscribe button and like this video to help this channel grow so I can keep on giving you guys great content each week here on the Mile High Skill Modeler channel. Next we have the AMT 57 Corvette Street Machine. Uh, this kit I did get from the stash in California that my grandparents were able to find. We will also see a few other kits in this video that came from that stash as well. Uh, this box is fairly faded on the front, however on the sides, back, and the box art sides you can see that the kit is still well maintained and still factory sealed. I enjoy getting this kit because you can get the snorkel, the wheels and tires, the chassis, and some other parts that actually can be used for kit bashing with other kits. This also does make a great kit um, as a box stock as well. This is another kit from the stash, the Revell Monogram 37 Ford panel delivery truck. Very cool seeing the nostalgic KB's Toys sticker tag there. Definitely brings me back a lot of memories of buying video games, action figures, toys. However, I never actually bought any model kits from KB Toys, but it's still nostalgia at the best to see with that sticker there. All kits you see in this video here, will, I will be doing kit reviews in the future with before I start to build them. Uh, this one is pretty cool seeing the decals on it and also the deluxe paint there. I highly doubt the paint's actually still good, but it's still cool to have nonetheless. Let's take a look around the box and see what the box looks like. Very cool gold leaf decal is what I can see there on the fenders. The back of the doors on the delivery van has this mural it looks like. I'm curious if that actually comes in the kit or not. When I do my kit review for this, it'll definitely be cool to see if that's actually what comes in the kit for the decals. Let's go and look at the next kit. This next kit that also came from the stash in California is a 65 Chevy Lowrider from Revell Monogram. Unfortunately, the top of the box definitely has been dented in, as well as the sides. I hope the kit is still intact inside. It's really cool seeing the decals that come in this kit, the wire wheels, the antennas, and the overall box art for this kit is really cool. I'm definitely stoked to open this up in the future when I'm ready to build it and see what comes in it. Definitely a really cool mural on the back as well that I can see here on the trunk. I've been seeing this kit as of late on eBay going for a little over 45 bucks. Uh, this is a, definitely a cool kit, happy to add this to my stash and look forward to building it. Also really cool is the bottom has this asphalt look for the box art where you can take uh, glamour shots with your built uh, lowrider on that actual asphalt and make a little cool scene. 
This next kit that we have is the Ravel Austin Powers Corvette convertible with the Felicity Shagwell figure. I'm a big sucker for uh, Corvettes, especially in the 60s. I love the body style. I love the paint scheme on this with the American flag. I do hope the paint scheme actually comes in decal form. However, if it doesn't, based upon my kit review in the future that I show opening us up, I definitely will use some masking um, options and paint the flag on there myself and see how well I can do. Uh, the first time I saw this car in a movie was in Con Air, a great movie, and unfortunately the car uh, did have uh, something fall onto it from the sky, but it definitely was a cool uh, movie and a great Corvette nonetheless. Next we have the United States Postal Service Edition by AMT, which is this 53 Studebaker. I got this through uh, Model Kits and Bits Auction Group, which is a static auction group. Very cool group to be a part of, definitely some great deals on kits there and people that actually do ship reasonably to you. The reason why I got this one is I have one of the older editions and I was curious about what came in this one, if there's any additions or anything extra in this one. But either way I'm looking to actually make this into a salt flats drag car, which will be really cool. Um, definitely love the box art here, love that it comes in a tin. Definitely something to add to the stash to build, and then once built, it'll be really cool to showcase the 10 off part of the Postal Service collection. I'm hoping to get the full set once they're all out. Next, we have the Ravel Monogram 68 Corvette Roadster 2 in 1. I already have three of these, but I couldn't help by getting another one. This kit is great to kit bash with. It comes with the drag engine as well as the stock engine, all the motion side pipes, Moroso valves, some great tires and wheels, and a lot of other items to kit bash and steal from this kit and rob if you need it. Uh, definitely a great kit to have in your stash just to take as pieces and also a great build for box stock as well. Next is the Ravel 69 Camaro convertible. I'm a sucker for Camaros and especially convertibles in this era. This kit I got from a local guy who is a part of the Scale Rods and Mods Facebook group. This Facebook group is a live auction group where they have auctioneers that sell kits uh, from certain times and days based upon the schedule and they definitely do uh, have great prices as well as shipping. To accommodate everyone. Another addition to the stash is a 69 Shelby GT500 2-in-1 from Motor City Muscle. This was won in an aesthetic auction group, in scale Easy Auctions, which is from Tuesday to Saturday. A great group of guys, great sellers, definitely take care of their people that buy from them. This kit I got for about 15 bucks with shipping was about 25 in total. Uh, this is an open box kit, but everything was there. And I couldn't pass the kit up for a total of 25 bucks with shipping, knowing that's a 69 Shelby pony car. Here is another Ravel monogram kit. This is a 60 Chevy Impala hardtop. I definitely like the late 50s and early 60s Impalas. Uh, a great kit. Definitely like the size of the box being as big as it is. This kit is still factory sealed, which is awesome. So I can open this up during a kit review and show all of you what comes in the box. And I've not found many kit reviews for this kit. I'm a big sucker for the big one on the back. Also with the trunk opening and having an actual trunk interior uh, part of the kit, which is awesome. You typically don't see that in kits these days or even back then for that matter. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Please smash that subscribe button and comment below what new kits you've gotten for your stash or collection over the past month. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all here in the next video.